That was the scene in California's Mojave Desert five years ago. Our historic first view of the newcomer's ship. Theirs was a slave ship carrying a quarter million beings bred to adapt and labor in any environment. But they've washed ashore on Earth with no way to get back to where they came from. And in the last five years, the newcomers have become the latest addition to the population of Los Angeles. I want to be perfectly honest for just one minute. Now, this is the truth. It comes from the bottom of my heart. If I could drive any car off this lot right now, it'd be this little baby right here. I thought all these cocos were junk. Come on, you believe everything you read? Just take a look at the design. Hmm? Huh? We're talking state-of-the-art methanol-burning 350-horsepower engine. Factory sound, air, anti-lock brakes. Why, the Coca was, and in my opinion, still is, the car of the future. So why'd they stop making them in 92? Well, why'd they stop making the Tucker, the Edsel, the DeLorean? Nobody was buying them. Yeah, were they junk? No, sir. But people, people, I want to make this happen. What can I say, huh? Is the trunk clean? Lady? You can eat off the rocker panels. <gasps> three mutilated bodies in three days has got the chief snapping his suspenders a little bit more than usual. Who's in charge of this task force? Not you. Some guy at a rampart. I believe it's Sergeant Steve Macy. It was in the morning watch report. Yeah, well... Anyway, this Macy thinks he needs a newcomer on his team, and he's volunteered you out of my command. Perhaps they felt I could be useful, since all the victims are newcomers. Yeah, well, sure, it makes sense. But you think the guy would show a little professional courtesy and ask me if I thought it was a good idea? Oh, he just doesn't appreciate your mind like we do. That's enough out of you, Sykes. You're only on board because your partner's from outer space. No disrespect intended. Matthew, I believe we have a lot of freedom to catch up on. Piece of cake. Three dead newcomers, hands hacked off above the wrist, bodies all over town. All right, we follow up on the one in the dumpster in Slagtown. No disrespect intended. I really don't think you have to wash it. Well, we always wash vegetables before we serve them in. We're not going to eat it. Then why are we carving it? Jill said to carve a face in it. It's a Halloween tradition. Oh, like, like bopping for apples. Bobbing? Yeah, I guess. Well, now what? We cut it. No! Yeah. <laughs> we cut it open and rip its insides out. Oh, and you got to carve a real scary face in it to ward off the demons. Demons? Yeah. <sighs> what is this disgusting tradition? It's Halloween, Mom. The pagan festival celebrating Samhain, the Celtic ruler of death. On the day of the celebration, the people would light hearth fires, often sacrificing small animals or other humans to welcome the return of the dead, according to the encyclopedia. Celine, and they call themselves civilized. I'll get it. Hello? Hi. Hi, Jill. Did you ask her? I'm working on it. You have to come to my Halloween party. I want to. And be sure to wear something really neat. It's a formal party? <laughs> yeah. 
I'll be dressing like a pig. Em, if we're going to mutilate this vegetable, we better do it before your father gets back. I'll call you right back as soon as I can, okay? Okay. Bye. Now, on all the victims, sorry, like this John Doe newcomer, the hands were severed with a single chop, maybe an axe, maybe a meat cleaver. Was it an upward or a downward motion? Uh, do we care? Oh, well, actually, that's a good question. I assume you're wondering if the victims were in a defensive stance, in which case the cut would come from the side or the bottom up, or at rest, in which case we'd look for a downward motion. Yes, that is what I was asking. Defensive. The victims were all alive during the attack and probably bled to death. Toxicological tests will tell us more. And no weapon was found? No weapons, no motives, no nothing. Any other questions? Yeah, what happened to the chopped off hands? Good question. Per your report, Sykes, the hands of all the victims are still missing. Oh, really? It's page three. Those hands could tell us a lot. So I hope you guys don't mind, but I missed lunch. Now, there were signs of struggle in several of the victims. Fingernail scrapings and uh, bio scans. We'll throw every trick we got at those appendages if you find them. Glad to give you a hand. <laughs> All right. Everything needs to be coordinated through my office at Rampart. Sykes, Francisco, welcome aboard. You get used to my databases. They're a pretty normal format. Here's the latest update, including a full psychological profile, coroner's report, and visualization work. We uh, saw a dance in the press. Just like Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. They were good with the press. I'll rent you the video. Guess what? I was invited to a Halloween party tomorrow night. You shouldn't go. Why not? It's going to be fun. No one should leave the house until it passes. What passes? What are you being so weird about? In time, you'll learn about Tag. Quotahaya. Oh? He rises among his people on the third rotation of the equinox when the paraxial sun is in line. Me? And what does he do? He fills the night with screams. There are many stories about Tagdot, but only one theme prevails. Evilness consumed by madness. His darkness lives in the hearts and minds of all Tanktonese. He was a conqueror with fire in his hands and steel in his heart. He expected adulation. And when our great fathers gave him none, the night broke with their cries as his armies spread through the cities, destroying all life in their path. And they were merciless. Hands were severed and their victims painfully bled to death. Body upon body lined the streets. And he walked among the bodies, thousands upon thousands of bodies. And he cried. He cried, not for what he had done, but because there were no more to destroy. And now is the time for Tagdot to return and again walk among his people. Nah. What do you mean, nah? It's a legend. It's truth. Sure it is. It was a very nice story. You want to know what he did with the hands? No. I think you should keep all this to yourself. Let's not freak out, Mom and Dad, when I've got a party to go to. Tagda te mongosu. Tote mishure. Okay, you enter everything we got from the dumpster in the data file. I'll get the coffee. I would like honey and sugar. And if there are any of those bug pellets left, I'll have three. Just let them float on the top. And let, you have to let them soften oh, a bit first, and don't stir it. I'll enter the data. You get the coffee. There you are. Yeah, here we are. 
And here you go. What's this? New addition to the club. the honors. Because both hands are missing. I can see that. Uh, tape off the area. I'll call the meat wagon an SID. Witnesses, no idea why the guy went down there, no tire tracks, no footprints, no weapon, no hands. No reporters. Go away, Burns. Come on, this is front page, Sykes. Only in your paper. OK, so how'd the guy get down there? Huh? So there's only one set of tracks going in, the victims. Nothing coming out. Who told you that? I got a nose for news. Sounds to me like you got a butcher boy who knows how to cover his tracks. Go away, Burns. I got work to do. Well, it could be a Halloween spook, huh? You believe in spook, Sykes? Only one, my ex-wife. Yeah, can I quote you on that? Go Thanks. away. What do we have? Uh, you tell me, man. Let's get this out of here. Anybody got anything? OK. Anybody see my partner? He went that way. Maybe something over here. All right, yes, sir. You want me to go with you? He's my partner. I'll dig him up. Give me a flashlight. Not issued down here. <sighs> Terrific. Hey, Sarge, don't get lost, huh? George? Hey, George! Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> OK, George, cut the comedy. We got work to do. George? George, this isn't a name. Rose Garden in here. Matthew! I think I found something. George, you almost found a bullet right between your spots. Preliminary report indicates that the Perp was driving a late model pickup. The wheelbase suggests a Yankee. Oh, yeah, the Japanese thing. Nice truck. Soil retention tests show that it was red. OK. Infrared picked up the victim's blood in the soil. Probably dripped off the weapon. You got anything else? Well, let's see. Perp was wearing a 10 and a half shoe, weighs close to 200 pounds, and has an inward toe. Like a newcomer inward toe? That would be the obvious deduction. You mean one of you guys is killing you guys? Why does that sound so surprising? I don't know. I thought we humans cornered the market on psychotic behavior. Well, isn't it encouraging how well we are assimilating into your society? Hello? Anybody home? We're in the kitchen. Oh, sorry I'm late. We got caught up in a storm tunnel in a little tank tunnel. Mm. Is there a reason Emily has her head in a bucket of water? It's a new game she heard about today from Jill. Bopping for apples. Bobby! Is she having fun? Well, she's been at it for hours. When does she come up for air? When she's captured an apple. Is there a reason she is doing this? 
She wants to go to a Halloween party, George. You know that pagan festival they celebrate? Is that a problem? They go out after dark collecting candies. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Honey, we are not in Little Tangton anymore. I am sure she will be properly supervised and safe. I know. It's just... What? Well, it's just that it's that time of the year. What about the time of the year? Well, Mudri's been reminding us of Tag Dot. You know, the night of the screams? It's that time of the year. <laughs> Tag Dot. That old myth. <laughs> Susan. That is just make-believe. It is a story like Crosney and Gleeby. You don't believe in Gleeby? Michael! We're discussing it! What? What are we discussing? What did Mudri say? I merely reminded this family of Tardot's reign of terror. Mudri, I don't think you need to terrorize this family with ghost stories about a madman who cuts up his own people. Are they just stories, George? Busting down the door if you don't answer me. And I have a gun if there's some psycho in there with you. I'm. I'm okay. You always scream when you're okay? It was, um, just a bad dream. Is that some guy behind this door making you say that? I'd invite you in, but uh, oh, I'm, I'm a little tired. No, no, it's okay. I just, uh, I heard you freaking out, and I thought, uh, uh, I don't know, it's a crazy neighborhood. <laughs> I feel better knowing that you're nearby. Sure. Well, if you have another bad one, uh, just down the hall. Huh? Thank you. what you humans call a boogerman. I don't know what a boogerman is, George. You mean boogeyman? Oh, yes. That's it. Well, that's just hunky-dory, George. All right, here we go. All Takiya Yankees in L.A. with a 92 wheelbase run 9,345. Let's try red. I reread the myth last night. It's deeply rooted in fact. Listen to this. Edwa Bangano, Flati. Severed hands were the symbol of Tagdot. Throughout the ages, on the third equinox, and that's now, he rose, taking sometimes a few, sometimes thousands. They're pretty spooky stuff, eh, Sykes? That book had got pictures and uh, everything, huh? Uh, there is an ancient drawing of Tectot. Sykes, I got an idea. Why don't you get your partner here to check the mug shots to see if he can get a match? <sighs> Grow wings, <laughs> fly away. All right. Red, Yankee, 1992, 2,394 in L.A. Okay, 200-pound owners. The presentation of severed hands and metal basins became a tradition by Tagdot followers at ceremonial gatherings. George, count your spots. <laughs> Can not say nothing? I am suggesting that if it's important to find the hands, that we focus on a metal basin. No, George, we're gonna cross-reference the data banks and find out how many 200-pound newcomers drive Yankees. If you think it's a good idea, I could enter this information into the case jacket for Macy. Uh, 
You don't want to talk about this anymore. The press is here. It's just that I think it could be important. Look, George, enough of this make-believe land. You're a cop, not a comic book. This is real. There's seven newcomers we're going to talk to. Shake them down, get some alibis. That's what cops do. You want to go ahead and look for ghosts in your own time? Be my guest. I got other things to do, huh? Eh? What's going on? I was merely offering an alternative approach to an investigation. Well, I'm with you, bro. I think you should get that report on Grace's desk just as soon as you can. Yeah, you mind if I take a look at that? My brother got this really scary record of, like, people screaming and doors creaking open. You really like Halloween, don't you? Yeah, it's freaky. I think I'll do very well in the bobbing for apples competition. You'll be great. What about a costume? I think I have a good idea. Great, surprise me. Gotta be scary, though. Are you going as a pig? Yeah, pig from hell. It's sick. Big, huge, ugly teeth. This nose is all screwed up. It's gross. I'll think of something very scary. The grosser, the better. <laughs> Emily, did you hear me? Yes. I'm really grossed now. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> testing, testing. Your translator is broken. I barely made it through the last interview. Let's say after the next one, we break for lunch. That sounds like a good idea. I know a nice little restaurant right around the corner. George, I don't eat down here. Too rich for the blood. Too alive for the fork. Mr. Paul Revere, Jumbo. Keeps a militia placa. Keeps it vota tua sipolas. This guy couldn't lift the axe to cut somebody's hands off. I was just eating my lunch. May I offer you something? Uh, no, don't. Mr. Rivera, we understand you drive a 92 Yankee. Is that information correct? Yes. Yeah, we'd like to take a look at it if we could, run a few tests. I, I, I don't understand. Russ, eat. Not my fronsage. Hey, come on, George. My translator is spread all over the hallway. Yes. Mr. Rivera, where were you on the nights of the 27th, 28th, and 29th? Uh, here. I don't go out much. Do you have somebody to corroborate that? I live alone. I don't have many friends. I have Klotzdolikian's disease. It is a bone disorder brought on by the lack of proper diet on our slave ship. Mr. Revere, what do you do? Uh, research for the Central Library. 52, go. We got another body? He didn't say. OK, we're on our way. Clear. Should we check his car first? Macy said code three. We'll be back. I'm not going anywhere. They found them down at the old waste disposal dump. That addendum you put into the data bank really paid off, Francisco. A couple of giant metal vats, basins, and neatly displayed right in the middle were these. What do you know about a guy named Tag Dot? You okay? Uh, maybe you better come in. If you're in the middle of something. No, no, please. Come in. There are many legends, stories about Tag Dot. Our myths were deeply woven into our culture. Same here, I guess. On the slave ship, the Klezon Soon overseers. They use the stories against us. We lived in our bed racks, 
Thousands of corridors and bed racks, stacked a hundred stories high, all fanning out like spokes on a wheel from a central hub. The overseers were charged with maintaining order. They pumped gas to keep us submissive. But submission was not easy for some. Since we landed, I've heard that there was a group that acclimated themselves to the gas and tried to organize a revolt on the ship. Uh, yes, you had to have had them outnumbered. What, a thousand to one? Ten times that. That's why they had to strike at our weakest line of defense, our minds. Already vulnerable from the gas, they twisted our history. This became real. Overseers became demons, more dangerous and powerful than all of us together. Fear became more painful than death. All we had to do to escape the torture was lay back and breathe the gas. And that's what I did. I'm sorry. I always thought that I was a rational person. You were. So why do these dreams still scare the hell out of me? Why now? The overseers. Why the tattoos? I was told that it neutralized the gas. On the ship, it was a symbol they wore righteously. Now it's their scar of damnation. Uh, you left an hour ago? Oh, no, I wouldn't worry. He's probably around here somewhere. OK, thanks, uh, Susan. What? Oh, happy Halloween to you, too. Did you see George? Yeah, about an hour ago. Said he was running down to the coroner's office to pick up a report. Here's a report. Where did his little legs take him? Hey, you know what I bet? Maybe last night he read Snow White and decided to pick up seven little midgets for questioning. Sykes, what the hell are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? Nothing. Did you see the results of the toxicological reports on those hands? I'm reading. Bernine's a hell of a fast-acting tranquilizer. Nice little wrinkle to work on. Yeah. So get on it. I'm thinking now, OK? <laughs> yeah, sometimes that happens. Where's your partner? What do you think he's thinking about? Excuse me, I got some interviews. I was expecting you. And why is that? You didn't look like a man who was affected by myths. My fears are more rooted in reality. Tag dot is real to many. So are overseers. You found the tattooed hands, and the myth guided you to the metal basin. And reality led me to you. You drugged your victims first? Just a dart. Just enough to immobilize them. I prefer to see them bleed to death. I'm arresting you for the murders of four unidentified newcomers. Overseers. And I have the names of all the Clisensons I exterminated. They were very carefully researched. You have the right to remain silent. No one has the right to remain silent. No one has the right to forget about the atrocities. And no one has the right to take the law into his own hands. Are you our future George? Tempered by laws we didn't write? Forgetful about the hell they created? I haven't forgotten. You have? You don't remember your parents that were torn from you. Did you lose one, George? Is there a child they want you to forget? You should be! I know! Don't you know no. I haven't forgotten. If you do this, there's no one to take my place. 
There is no one to see justice done. And the butcher's only retribution will be to walk freely among us. The humans can never share the horror the overseers created for us. How can they possibly write laws to exterminate them? These things must be done among ourselves. I went back to Slagtown alone to finish the interview. I'm sorry, I had some business to take care of. I don't give a rat's ass if you had a hot hum all set up with the old lady. You don't just take off when we got things to do. I'm sorry. Those hands had tattoos. That's got to mean something. Yes, perhaps. Damn it, George, I could use a little more from you. I'm only on this task force because you're from outer space, remember? Yes, I remember. Yeah, fine. I know who I am. I know what I am and where I came from. Now, perhaps we can move past that and focus on the case we are assigned to. I'm not taking you away from it. Do you have any leads you want me to follow up on? Yeah, I got a few. Fine, go ahead. Adam Clayton Powell, 1356 4th Street, drives a 92 Yankee, said he was Muakti... Muakti Bhuti. Yeah, some kind of prayer thing. Muakti Bhuti is a spiritual centering for those who have recently been blessed with child. Yeah, well, the guy was beefing me all the way. Was there a newborn in the apartment? I don't know. There was something screaming in the back. Then he is not a suspect. What else do you have? Hey, I was there. I was looking at the spots. You weren't. I say we'd lean on him. Do you have anything else? Hey, man, I don't know what kind of bug crawled up your ass, but I think you ought to go somewhere and pull it out. Hey, George, what is it? What is what? You look a little beat. Maybe we should knock off for the day. I will. Thank you. Hey, George. Uh, happy Halloween, huh? Oh, George, there you are. What's the matter? I called you at the office. You weren't there. Well, what is it? Emily, are you all right? I just wanted to scare people. This is the costume she decided to wear to the Halloween party. You're hurting her! I'm How did this happen? Who let her do this? I did it. I just wanted to scare her. She doesn't understand. She only knows the feeling you have for them. George! George! She doesn't remember what they were, but they did. I would like to be alone, Woodry. I need to think. You need to talk. Let the thinking out. George, the weight on your shoulders might grow a little lighter. I didn't know there was so much hatred in me for the Cleason soon. Their evil gave birth to legend. Their evil is real. And should never be forgotten. George, they will all disappear in time. That's not what matters. The Tag Dot and his armies are gone and will never return. But the evil, vile spirit that Tag Dot had within him is within all of us, even you and me. What we must do is fight it. With stories, myths? Our myths, our legends, are rooted in truth, young man. They have survived to remind us of who we are and where we have to go, and the standards we should live by. Thank you.
keep the galley covered. Johnson, you stay on the staircase. Are we ready? Yes, let's move. Okay. I missed him. He is out there. It's his last night. His night of the screams. He's cataloged dozens of overseers. So what does that mean? We're going to be picking up a gross of hands tomorrow morning? He knows his time is running out. He doesn't need to mislead us with a tag dot legend anymore. His mission will be one of quick execution. Sounds like a fun night. He's a driven man, an avenger. You got anything, any kind of a, a hit list or something might tell us where he's starting? This could be helpful. Addresses of about 15 newcomers. Apparently, that's how he spends most of his days, researching, digging, confirming. And then this little cripple guy goes out and hacks him up. Don't underestimate the strength of my people, especially one with conviction. This document is a record of his actions. If the overseers aren't where they are supposed to be, he moves on quickly to his next rendezvous. Like a cheap nickel and dimer. One liquor store looks too hard, he moves to the easier hit. All right. Let's bring him to our liquor store. Miller, get on the horn. I want you to round up every one of these guys in this list. Everyone except these two. Edward G. Robinson of Fifth and Grand and John Paul Sartre here in Little Tinktop. OK, we'll take Sartre. You want to stick with Robinson? All right. You're using them as bait. You got a problem with that? If it helps us catch a killer, no. Matthew, I should have arrested Mr. Revere. I intend to include my error in a report to Captain Grazer. Save the paperwork, George. So far, no harm, no foul. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I am sorry. And I owe you an apology. You're not a machine, George. You got a gut. Sometimes it kicks you into feeling things you're not sure about. Overseers, they have a nice life on your spaceship. They were rewarded well for delivering slaves around the Nouveau Bon range. Yeah, well, this Sartre isn't exactly living in a palace on this planet. Yep. Number three. Should be down here. I think we're too late. Well, let's go. How good that born? John Paul Sartre. He bond us as good. Is he here? Guilty, man, Tiatek. It's so astropic, Mia. You want to protect him? That's the plan, lady. He's here. Why do you want to protect him? I am a police officer. You are cargo. And your husband is Clisan Soon. I am well aware of that. Look, lady, tell us where he is, or ID him later at the morgue. He doesn't need your help. Fine. Let's get out of here. Matt. Our job requires us to protect your husband. I know what he is. I despise what he did to us on the ship, and forgiveness is impossible. But if you do not cooperate with us, I will arrest you for obstructing justice. I will throw you in a hole downtown and prosecute you as far as the law will allow me. Now, where is your husband? I got 10 bucks that says we find this guy face down in a muskrat pie. One William 152, come in. 52, go. Detective Macy reports Edward Robinson uncooperative and placed in protective custody. How long ago? He pulled into the station at 
20 minutes. 52, Roger. Matt. Red Yankee. Hasn't been here very long. One way and 152, requesting backup at the Palace Theater at Grant and Thomas. Thomas Von Klatten, Stilak Klatt Lewi. Nikitai. Please spank both Patiz Demonastra. Yeah, now Fai Mitel Zoo. Ravat Nas Bat Wata. Zapata Lee. Not James Nas Virgil Herb. That wasn't from there. Balcony. Zasla Muka Duck. He's going to kill him. Where are they? Oh, there he's getting good. Get those people out of here. Turn on the lights. And turn off that damn movie. gun down, Paul. You know I can't do that. If you don't put the gun down, I will have to fire. He's please on soup. Put the gun down. Are you going to arrest me? On four counts of murder. Who will complete my work? What you're doing, it's wrong. Exterminating the exterminators. It has to be done. Not if it means becoming like them. Thor, put it down. My work cannot be accomplished if I am behind bars. And if I can't do my work, what good am I? No! Funny little man, wasn't he? Stairs code for in that backup. It's all right, Matt. I think they're complicated, but they're so simplistic. He was about to blow your face off. <laughs> you don't know those people? They were bred to lick our boots. I'm sorry you have to work with one. <laughs> I guess I don't know him. But I know me. <clears throat> sorry you had to settle for second best. children were very impressed with him's ability to bob for apples. <laughs> so she made some friends? Yes, and she ate three pounds of candy, and, uh, and she scared herself silly, and she went to bed with a stomachache. 
This Halloween is fun. She said it was the best party she'd ever been to. What about you? You look very tired. Uh, it has been difficult, but it is over. I'm glad. I'm not too sure I understand this Halloween ritual. Humans don't understand many things about us yet, but in time they will. Trick or treat! <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Thank you.